Hi everybody, welcome into our broadcast today of You Are Enough, You Are Not Being Punished. In today's video, I wanna let you understand that you're not being punished. You might be persecuted, but you're not being punished. You have awakened to the person that you've always wanted to be. And whenever you really awaken to the person that you've always wanted to become, you're gonna realize that you're not everybody's cup of tea. You're gonna understand that you are just that peculiar. You're gonna understand that you're very unique and you're not gonna have a desire to fit in. When you really awaken, I don't mean maybe, I don't mean kinda. No, I mean when you really awaken to who you are and to the person you've always wanted to become, you're gonna become that person. You are going to become everything you desire to be. You're gonna do it because you're gonna understand that you're not supposed to fit in. You are really going to come to grips and in terms with this, that you don't have to fit in. You don't have to be liked. You're okay with being rejected because rejection is God's way of saving you from something or someone that was literally going to take your life through hell and back. You have awakened to the person that God knew you would always be. You know, sometimes you get nervous, sometimes you get uncomfortable, but God is sitting there in the heavens just waiting patiently so that you can really understand who he created you to be. God knew at that time, family, that this day, today, that you would awaken to the person he called you to be. He knew you would. He knew you would. God isn't nervous and he doesn't doubt. See, God has so much confidence on what he put on the inside of you and you had to learn to do the same. You have to learn to do the same. And you're going to learn these things if you haven't already learned them by the things that you go through with, by that rejection, by that isolation period. You're not being punished. You're a chosen person. And once you understand that you're chosen, that you can't be around anybody, you can't. You cannot keep a friend just with anybody. You are not everybody's cup of tea. Everybody's not going to understand who you are. They're not going to understand how you think. And if you're not careful, if you are entertaining people who are not on the same spiritual plane as you are, these people are going to take you off of your bearing. They will. Then you're going to conduce yourself down to poor negative thinking all over again. Then you got to start back from ground zero. And God doesn't want you to start over from ground zero. I'm proud of you. You've awakened. You can see out of your spiritual lens that God gave you, you now know who you are. You now know how special you are. You now know how peculiar and unique that you are. Now you know. Now you're going to wear that. Now you get the fact how God created you. Now you really get it. You're not being persecuted. Excuse me, you're not being punished. But you possibly may be being persecuted but you're going to be persecuted and suffer for righteousness. When you stand for the truth, when you stand for what's right, you're going to be persecuted. But God said you're blessed whenever you're persecuted for righteousness sake. You're not being punished. You're not being punished because everybody don't invite you. They're not supposed to invite you. You didn't lose anything because you didn't get an invitation. You didn't lose anything because certain people turned their back on you. You didn't. You gain in everything. This is why it's good to allow people to reveal who they are. It's good. It's good to allow the heart of people to speak for them. It possibly may not make your flesh feel good, but your spirit is going to thank you. It's the flesh that hurts us because we know the emotional connection that we have with a person. And that's what hurts you. But your spirit man isn't hurt. Your spirit man is strong. This is why you got to feed your spirit and starve your flesh to death starve your flesh and feed your spirit whatever you starve it can't live and whatever you feed it's gonna live awaken to the person that God made you to be awaken so many people are walking around in this world and they're asleep they're walking but they're dead people walking have no idea what's going on in life they're just going through the motions but you you have awakened and people don't understand how you were the chosen one. They don't understand. And you know what, family? Maybe you don't understand why you're the chosen one. 
what you are. You've come to terms with that. And if you're having a hard time processing this, just come to terms with that God chose me. He could have chose anybody else to do what he called you to do, but he chose you to do it. You're not suffering just to suffer. You're not being rejected by people just to be rejected. You're not. God has a purpose behind everything that you go through with. He has a purpose behind the rejection. He has a purpose behind the pain. He has a purpose behind every trial. Every tear that dropped, God caught that tear. As he said, I'm going to bottle up your tear. Every tear that you cry, God bottles up your tears. It's a blessing to be awakened. It's a blessing to be able to see life through God's lens. It's a blessing to be able to see God in people. And it's a blessing to be able to see the other side when God gives you the, the unction to see it. Now that you have awakened, you are going to go so high in this world. Now that you have awakened to your power, now you've awakened to who you are, now you're going to awaken to opportunities, things that seem hard for you. You're not going to even perceive these things the way you used to. You're not going to even look at life the way you used to. You're not going to even view things the way you used to. You're not because you are awakened spiritually. When you awaken spiritually, family, God does such a work on your heart. He does a work in you. This is when you're going to see the outer world change for you. Your external world is going to change because your internal man has become strong. God has purged those parts of you that hinder your life and hinder your productivity. God did a great work within you. Now you can see. Not half glass full. You can see clearly. And thank God that you can see. Thank God that things that used to bother you, they're not going to bother you anymore because you've awakened. Now you get it. Now you understand. And the people that you know, these people are not going to get it. They're not going to understand because they're still sleeping. So be patient with people. Just pray for people because some people are going to get it. Some people are not. And this is why we pray so that people can become the greatest version of themselves that God created them to be. You're going to be such a light. You're going to give so many people a reason of hope you are because you've awakened. This is why you had to get out of the relationships that you were in that weren't going anywhere. God snatched you up out of that place. Even if it broke your heart, God said, you're not staying in this mess another day. God said, you're getting yourself up out of this. God said, I'm allow your heart to be broken. Because if I don't allow your heart to be broken, you're going to stay in this mess and wander until you die out. God said, I call you to birth dream. I call you to birth vision. I gave you creative ideas and witty inventions. God said, I gave that to you. But if you stay in this place, it'll lie dormant. If you stay with this person, it'll stay dormant. You will die with so many gifts. But when we leave this world, we are supposed to die empty. Empty, meaning every gift, every talent, every ability that God has given us, we have to give it to the world. You're going to give everything to the world because now you know the purpose of you being here. When you understand that your life has purpose, when you understand the meaning of your creation, when you really get the fact of why you're here, your whole life is going to change. People, not, they're not going to even recognize you. Not only are you not going to look the same, you're not going to think the same. You're not going to talk the same. You're not going to act the same because God has changed you from the inside out. Change begins on the inside of us. Change does not happen on the outside. It does not. This internal parts of us, this stuff got to be healed. This is where the change happens. You've awakened. You're not asleep. You're not asleep to people's drama. You're not asleep to people's intentions. You're not asleep. You've awakened. And you're going to live the rest of your life like you are awakened. And you're going to help people do the same. Now you need to go and become the greatest person that God called you can be to, for you to be. You can be anything that you want to be. You can do whatever you desire to be. You can because you're no longer asleep. Now you have awakened. I'm so happy for all of you. Your pain has purpose. Your trials and your tribulations, your hardships and your challenges, these things have purpose and they have meaning. 
and you're going to see it day by day. Thank you for tuning in to our broadcast today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share. Jump over to Instagram and give us your support over there. Don't get scammed here, family. Remember that not one weapon that may form against you today, tomorrow, whenever, it'll never prosper. It'll form, but it will never prosper. You have awakened. You're no longer asleep. Now you can become the person that you've always wanted to be because you can think clearly and you can see clearly. Now your emotions and your energy is going to vibrate so high and the Holy Spirit in your belly, I know is leaping because God is saying, now you can see what I've been trying to show you. Now you can hear what I've been saying to you. This is why God has to get us away from different people in different places so that you can hear him and so that you can see because so many people and environments are not healthy. And they're going to block what God wants to show you and what he wants to give you. Thank God that you have awakened. God bless.